this is how you write copy in 2021 on your iPhone or laptop in five minutes. I've actually personally used this formula to write dozens of sales pages, probably hundreds of ads before, and it's the same simple formula every single time. I've used this for years, it's foolproof, but it's getting even better in 2021, and I'm gonna show you why in this video. And if you're new to copywriting, all you have to think about is this, it's just selling with words. So whatever action you want your customer, your prospect, or your uh, target person to take an action, you wanna guide them through that process we're gonna use copywriting to do that. Because let's be honest, a lot of people need help in making decisions. You have to make a billion decisions every day. And especially when it comes to opening up your wallet and giving someone money, often people have reservations about that and it's your job to help guide them to the right decision. We all wanna believe that we make every decision on our own, but it's not true. We need help and copywriting is a way to do that to help your customers or clients get the results that you wanna get them so that they're happier, they're more successful or whatever you're giving them and exchange you're gonna have more money, a better business, and you're gonna be more successful. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm doing this on my MacBook, but I'm just gonna use the Notes app. It's the same one that you have on your iPhone. So if you want, follow along on your phone. It doesn't really matter. All right, so in its very basic, simple terms, this is the formula. You wanna start with a juicy headline. You wanna have subheadlines below. There's a specific trick that I've got with the subheadlines though, and you'll see as you write more of them, it's all gonna get pieced together. You wanna to repeat that as many times as you need to make the point, and then you wanna go straight to a call to action. So the thing about copywriting is simple is better. You know, people are so overwhelmed with information that you have to take your idea or your product or whatever you're trying to sell to get the person from A to B, you have to distill. You have to make things simple and easy for them. What we're doing here is not anything overly complicated. It's actually better to be more simple here than it is to be all fancy and crazy. It will probably get you better results when you simplify. The first thing is a big juicy headline. This has to grab your prospect. You have to really engage them. And usually it's just talking about the thing that they really, really want. So it could be to lose weight. For some people it could be to gain weight or gain muscle. It could be to make more money, to live a better life, to have freedom, whatever the, the overwhelmingly wanted thing that they have is, you wanna give that to them in the headline. Then what you wanna do though, is you wanna guide them through the process by using subheadlines to break up sections because you probably had a time when you see a big block of text and you're like, I'm not reading that and you just scroll right past it. So in order to get away from that and to have people stop and read what we're saying is you wanna have subheadlines, but there's a trick with this because subheadlines, again, even if you do it right, some people can still skip past them. So what you wanna do is you want to tell the full story if no one reads the details. So for every subheadline, you're gonna have detailed paragraphs below. So you're not just gonna have a headline and a bunch of subheadlines and nothing in between because for the people that need more details and the people that wanna read more, you need to have some meat to it. There's quite a few people that don't wanna do that. So when we write our subheadlines, you want to write them that even if no one reads the detailed paragraphs below, they still get the facts and they get kind of almost everything they need to feel comfortable when they get down to the call to action to actually click on that link or purchase that course or call you and make an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one consultation or whatever you're trying to do. That is in its essence, the very simple formula, but I'm gonna show you a real quick expanded version of it that's a little bit more applicable to selling because I know a lot of people wanna see how to use this in sales pages and in emails, and that's what I've got for you next. All right, so this is the expanded version. You're usually gonna use this in either like emails or sales pages. You kinda of wanna have like a more longer form space to get the person from problem to solution and usually means like getting them to take out their credit card and buy something. Generally, you're not gonna do this as much in like an Instagram caption or a YouTube description. You wanna have it be more of like a, a salesy type environment. So with that being said, you can see it's the same formula that we're using before, but it's just expanded. So we need a couple more subheadlines to get the point across and each one of these are crafted for a specific purpose. So 
just like before, we've got the juicy headline that's at the top. It's the holy grail. It's what are people really, really after? Give it to them in the headline and say, yes, this is possible. I'm gonna show you how. So the next thing we wanna do though is before we give them that, we need to tell them that, hey, we're after identifying this problem. You've got some problem right now whether it's you're not successful, you don't have as many YouTube subscribers, you're not the weight that you wanna be at, whatever the issue is, we wanna identify that problem as the first subheadline. And then what we wanna do is expand on that and the paragraph below, give some more details, tell a bit of a story and get the person hooked and into it. Then what we wanna do is we wanna add salt to the wound. You can do this in a way that it's not about making the person feel bad, it's about showing them that if they continue to go down this road and the path that they're on by having this problem, life is gonna get worse. And we need to get the brain and the heart to understand that, hey, you might not be going in the direction that you wanna go, so this is what that looks like. Then, your job is to reveal the light at the end of the tunnel. It's to tell people that, hey, there is a better way. I'm proof of it, I did it myself, or my clients are proof of it because they're doing it right now and you could be one of them. So that's a really good example of saying, hey, here's the darkness, but hey, there's light. Let's move in this direction instead. Then what you wanna do is introduce the solution because your solution to the problem and showing them that there is a better way in the light, you want those to be like side by side. You wanna associate with the positive and the good feelings about you know taking uh, going left instead of right. So then what you wanna do is have your call to action and tell them explicitly, here's what to do next. I want you to buy my course because it's gonna teach you X, Y, and Z. It's going to do this, this, and this, and be very upfront and simple with it. Because at the end of the day, we're getting someone to realize, hey, don't go down this path, go this one instead, and I'm the person to take you there. Then what you wanna do is finally at the end, make it a no brainer for the people that might have reservations or might be a little bit too much up in their head and they're trying to make a decision, but they can't because everything needs to be logical. And you wanna make it um, as simple and as low risk as possible. So this could be offering like a guarantee. It could potentially be offering a consultation or something to get someone more comfortable with the idea of moving forward with the decision. Again, your, got, your uh, whole game plan here is to guide someone towards the making the right decision and moving them down that path. And all you're doing here is like nudging them down and providing little cues and guidance along the way to get them where you want them to go. So literally, that's really all there is to it. You can use this formula, like I said, on Instagram posts, on Facebook ads, on emails, on sales pages. You can make it as small and compact as you want, or you can stretch it out and expand it. You could have 20 subheadlines if you want with all the different detailed paragraphs in between that still lead to a call to action. It's really up to you how you wanna use it and the environment that you're using it in. But like I said, you wanna keep things simple. Like this is a very easy, simple to use, and honestly simple to remember formula, and that's gonna be the key. Because as we move forward into 2021, people are really focused on where they wanna go. They have new objectives, they have new goals, they need a little bit of help in moving there, and you're not doing them any favors by making things complicated. You want things to be simple. And you can always use this as a base and over time make adjustments to it. You can make improvements, you can run split tests and do lots of other things to make it better and better. But I think for most people, like your customers and also just for you personally, simple is better. The more concise and more compact you can be, the easier it's gonna to be to get in front of people and to get them to take action and ultimately get them to where you want them to go. So that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're gonna use it for and I'll see you in the next video.